five o'clock in the morning. I don't do five o'clock in the morning, especially not when I'm still hanging out my pants from the night before. Not unless it's a really special occasion. And this is one of those special occasions. I'm at Suwani Poom Airport in Bangkok and just about to catch a flight down to Koh Lanta in the south of Thailand. In fact, it's that far south. If you go any further, you will actually end up in Malaysia. I'll be checking out the food, places to stay, the beaches, nightlife, and anything else that I might come across. So yeah, keep watching. A two hour minibus ride from Kradi Airport and I have arrived in Koh Lanta. My first impressions, we'll get onto that at a later stage. Right now, I'm checking into the Lantapura Beach Resort Hotel. My room's costing me a thousand baht a night, which is approximately, give or take, 25 pounds sterling. Well, room 2109. Massive bathroom, shower, toilet. What a beautiful room. Massive double bed, air conditioning. honest I generally don't do hotel breakfasts mainly for two reasons one because I like to go out and see what other restaurants there are about and secondly because I've been let down so many times with hotel breakfast that I just got to the point I just don't bother anymore however today these kind people at Lantapura have offered me a free buffet breakfast with my room and uh, I'm not in a position to say no so I'm going to accept gracefully and not have another word said about it I'm only in Koh Lanta for two nights, so I've decided to get up early this morning and give myself half a fighting chance to get out and see what else this wonderful little island has to offer. Koh Lanta is quite a big island, so I've rented a scooter today. It's cost me 400 baht, which is around £10 sterling, but in the long run it's going to save me a lot of money because I don't have to pay tuk-tuks or taxis to get around the island. There's no way you can see everything on an island in a day or a day and a half, which I'm here for. So I'm just basically going to do my best to try and find as many beaches as I can, somewhere to eat. And uh, in the evening, I'm going to go and check out some of the nightlife and uh, see what else this little island has to offer. To be 100% honest, my first impressions landing on Koh Lanta Island were not good. Restaurants I found overpriced and because of certain re religious beliefs on the island, um, there are very few and far between bars where you can find alcohol, beer, mainly you can only get them in the supermarkets. But I've come across this place and actually, do you know what? Prices of their menu, their menu is priced well. 
got good selection and they also serve beer. Beer and coffee and ugly women. <laughs> I still haven't found any decent beaches yet, but heading south of the island, we're sort of getting there. Chicken rice, cashew nuts, some peppers in there, bit of mixed coleslaw salad sort of style thing, cucumbers, uh, 120 baht, which is about three quid. Lovely view. Do the spots a little bit. Can come to my house. Yeah. Chili's on there. <laughs> One thing they don't have, I'll take it back. They do actually have some salt and pepper, I think. Got pepper. Yeah, slightly lacking in seasoning. Pepper comes out like there's no tomorrow. Bit of salt. You know what? Just go for the gold and have a bit of soy sauce on there as well. Bloody rude not to, innit? Just help take the lid off. Right. That should do it. Basically, yeah, a bit bland, but you know what? Good healthy meal. Um, mm. Yeah, that's better. That's got a bit of a kick. Much better. So yeah, chicken and rice in Colanta on Colanta Island. Lovely view. Bit of a shitty day, but you know some things you can't plan. My first day in Colanta, and do you know what? That's good. Cashew nuts in there, chicken in there, chilies, might even be a bit of fried egg in there. Mm. Delicious. Always someone trying to stop me from going. Why is that? Hey, why is there always someone tries to stop me from going? Hey, beautiful. First impressions, not too impressed with Colanta, but it is starting to grow on me. And uh, I've just hired a motorbike, a scooter. So I'm having a little wander around the island and see what pops up out of the wilderness. Gasoline, that's always handy, seeing as I've got myself a scooter. So yeah, onwards and upwards. As far as nightlife is concerned on the island, and bearing in mind I am only here for one night, but what I've seen so far are some great little reggae bars with some live music playing. And of course, it's being Thailand, you've got your girly bars potted around here and there, if that's what you're looking for. So on the north side of the island, I've come across this little bar, it's called Eerie. It's a little reggae bar. And every Monday they have live music. It's a lovely little bar. Well worth a visit if you're in the area. Unfortunately, it's Sunday today, so they've got no music. But if you look for your live music, then this is a place to come. It's 
my last day in Koh Lanta and I'm checking out of my hotel. In the meantime, I thought I'd grab myself some lunch before I head off on my merry way to my next destination. Right, well, this place looks quite interesting. I feel I'm going to stop here uh, and have something to eat today. The ocean, Indian food, international food. So you've got a mixture of Thai, Indian, cocktails. Yeah, looks very nice. Let's have a little venture and uh, see what this place has got to offer. Prices average for Koh Lanta, because Koh Lanta is a bit of a pricey little town, I find. But, you know, most of the restaurants are on uh, beachside or coastal bits, so you're paying for the view as well. I suppose you've got to take that into consideration. Well, I've decided to visit the Ocean Bar restaurant, just opposite the hotel. This little restaurant's got some fantastic views. I guess this is where the speedboat goes to PP Island. It's got Indian food here as well, so I might just go for that. Although I am traveling today, so it's probably not a good idea. Prices look a bit pricey. Looking about five a dish. But that's what it is. I guess you pay for the view as well. Well, I've decided to go for the red curry with pineapple. 180 baht, which is about four pound, four pound 50. That's without rice. But I'm not that hungry at the moment, so that will do. Right, so I've opted for the Thai red curry which is different to the green curry because it's red, but also it is actually quite a different taste. And it's obviously made with red curry paste instead of green curry paste. So I've chosen pork red curry with pineapple. This could be interesting. And apart from my personal point of view of this beautiful little village, which I'll give you in a minute, that is just about all I can fit into this video for Koh Lanta. And anyway, onto my personal point of view and uh, what I thought of the island. Okay, to be honest, to be 100% honest, the beaches were not really um, I'll give them a 6 out of 10. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for paradise beaches, it has got some beaches, it has got some nice beaches, but very rocky. And, yeah, that's about it on beaches. On beaches, I found it to be a little bit pricey in some of the restaurants. I mean, one restaurant wanted to charge me 400 baht for a bit of chicken and some pineapple. I mean, that's a tenner, you know. Okay, call me a cheapskate if you want, but... I do think that's a bit pricey for a bit of chicken and some pineapple. <laughs> anyway, moving on gracefully. This is a beautiful little island. Um, I've only been here a day and the longer I stayed, the more it grew on me. Grew on me. It's well worth coming here and staying here for about three or four days. It is a bit of a long haul because it's right down south 
of Thailand, uh, quite far, quite a distance, um, but nice and peaceful and chilled out. It's got all everything you want. It's got your go-go bars. Well, not really go-go bars, but little, you know, little bars, reggae bars and girly bars and all that kind of thing that Thailand has. Restaurants are really good. Plenty of them. Plenty of little bars dotted about. If I had, um, if I could give you a bit of advice, I'd definitely recommend getting a little scooter, hiring a little scooter or a motorbike to get you around because um, tuk-tuks tend to uh, be a bit pricey as as normal. But generally speaking, what a fantastic, beautiful little island. And would I visit it again? Yeah, but I think there are better places. And because of the distance as well, um, yeah, it could be a long time before I visit this, this little island again, but definitely worth a visit. You know, if you're looking for somewhere a little bit chilled out, um, then yeah, it's, 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 it's got some beautiful scenery well worth getting a little moped and riding around on it and checking out the mountain views and things like that uh, excellent but apart from that Koh Lanta I'll be moving on to my next island which is now Nan I think it is paradise little island supposed to be much better than this so looking forward to that one check it out in the link I'll be putting above and apart from that chef travels thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one cheers